Hello, this is Kevin Caputo from Evolving Sales Solution. I'm going to do a demo this morning on the three, the four steps to do an email campaign within Salesforce. So let me begin by going quickly going through the steps. There's four steps to the process. The first step is to generate an email template. And then you, the second step is to create the campaign. The third step is to create the list of the users who you want to include in your campaign. And the fourth step is to do run the mass email program against the people in the campaign. So let's begin. So to um, create the email template, you first of all, you click on your name over here. Then click on settings, setup I should say. Click on email. And then click on my templates. Um, I have two templates right now. I'm going to uh, work on the version 4 template which has a video link so I'll just click on that uh, template and now if I scroll down I can see that there's an HTML version of the template and there's also um, a plain text version of the template they're both the wording is identical it's the only difference is that the plain text does not have any HTML code in it so uh, if I want to modify the, the template and make changes to it, I've got a couple ways. I can edit the HTML version or the text version, or I can clone it and give it a new name and then change it. So I'm just going to really quickly here uh, show you how to edit it. I'm not going to uh, make any of the changes to it, but I will show you how to edit it. So click on the edit, S scroll down here, and now you can see the... Um, the template. I've got my subject here, so if I want to make a change to the subject, I change it there. Um, in the body of the email, I have today's date. I also have um, the person's first name. I also have my company name embedded in the body of this paragraph, plus the my, my client's name, our company name, and also embedded in there. I have a YouTube video in um, inserted in the body of this paragraph and I also have my name, my company name, phone number, email address and website. Now a, a couple rules of thumb or best practices when sending an email campaign is that you should always try to have links that go back to your website whether it's a video or whether it's a, your, just your website um, and that basically helps you draw drive traffic to your website. Anyways, um, if I wanted to make a change, I could do, let's, for example, let's say I wanted to put um, dear first name space last name. Um, that's a, the last name is a contact field. So over here are all the fields under the contacts. So if I want to get last name, I just click on this down arrow right here and scroll down all the contact uh, field names until I find last name, which is right there. And then all I have to do is, is copy um, control C and just paste it right over here. So I'll put a blank in there, control V, and um, it's as simple as that. Let's say I wanted to um, um, put a link to a white paper I have on my website. I could um, you know, describe the white paper in text and then I can highlight that and then use this link right here and then specify specify the uh, the URL for that website. Anyways, I'm going to cancel the changes here because um, I just want to um, proceed with the, the template as the way it is right now. So I'm going to move on to the second step, which is to create the campaign. To do the campaign, I got to basically first of all make sure that I'm in the marketing application. Right now, you can see I'm in the sales application. So if I click here, I can switch over to the marketing application. And now I can see all my tabs for the marketing application. And I want to click on the campaigns uh, tab. And I want to create a new temp, temp uh, campaign. So my uh, campaign name, I'm going to call it follow-up mass email for July, and I'm going to put today's date, July the 27th. Meeting. Someone's trying to get me on my cell phone. Uh, I'm going to put the status as uh, 
in progress. I'm going to put the start date as today, the 27th of July, the end date being today too. I'm going to make it active. If I want to um, describe what the purpose of this uh, campaign is, I could put it in here. Uh, I specify how many people I'm planning to send this to. This particular email is going to uh, follow up from a meeting I'm having and I'm sending it to three people. Uh, so um, I put the number three. How many people do I expect to get a response? I'm hoping that 66% uh, or two of the three people, um, uh, two of the three people will respond um, to this email. And the ex uh, expected revenue, let's say I, I get a contract for worth $2,500 and the budget that costs me $100. And then later on, when I get the actual cost for completing the campaign, I would put it in here. And then this will allow me to do um, a ROI analysis on this particular campaign. So that basically completes the steps two, which is to create the campaign. The third step, as I s specify over here, is to include who's uh, who you want to be included in the campaign. There's two ways of doing it. You can do it through the reports or you can do it in the campaign. In this video, I'll just focus on the campaign. So uh, the way I do that is I click on the Manage Members button and I click on Add Members. And I want to switch over to Contacts because the three people um, that I'm sending this email to are in my contacts, not in my leads. Now, if I click go, I'm just going to see all my contacts and then I'm going to have to scroll through them and find the person. Um, I am kind of lazy about that, so I'm going to use the filter specification on, and I'm going to base it on the company name. So I'll look for account name, uh, account name right there, equals to, and the company I was going to send it to is clear, and I'm going to click on go and it shows me three people that I want to send that that's the three so I want to select the individually I can go like that or I can hit the top one and that'll select all three and I'm going to um, well that's right I'm going to add with status and say they're sent basically this is what this is doing is it's specifying for those three people, it's saying the status right now is I've, I've sent them uh, an, the email. And then when they respond back to it, I would change the status from sent to response, responded. Okay, anyways, um, that completed the, so the third the step, which was to create the three people in my campaign or add the three people to my campaign. Now I'm going to go to the fourth step, which is to run the mass email campaign. So to do that, I click on the contacts uh, tab and I scroll all the way to the bottom and I'll see under tools, there's a mass email contact program. So I'm going to run that and I'm going to uh, see what it says right here. The view is a mass email by campaign. That's the correct view I want to run, but I want to edit it because I want to point it to the campaign I just created. So I'll click on edit. And I'm just going to change this to the um, click on this uh, box right here, and I'm going to ch choose this one right here. But before that, I just uh, I do this. I want to. I have a campaign called Test Mass Email, which is a just a test campaign I set up, which has my uh, email address. And I'm just, so I'm going to test the uh, test it, make sure all the links are okay, and I'm happy with it. And then I'll come back and I'll redo it with this campaign. So I'll click on the test mass email and I'm going to click on save. And then it sees this, I see the two people, which is my Gmail account plus my regular account. I'm going to click on next. I'm going to choose the version four uh, video link, uh, which I showed at the very first step. And then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this the test uh, ma mass email follow-up and then click on send. And that's it. Um, so uh, in a few seconds, I'll probably get an email where I'll show that. But in the meantime, I'm going to click on... There it is right there. Perfect. So if I click on that email, I can now test it to make sure it's everything is okay. So I, I can see um, it's sent to... 
uh, from Kevin Caputo to my test Gmail account. The subject's okay. It's got my logo on the top. It's got today's date. It's got my first name. Um, it has my company name right here. It has my client's name right there. Account uh, account name there or company name there. It's got the link to the um, YouTube. So I'll click on that and make sure that works. Okay, that works. That works okay. Down at the bottom has got my name and all that information plus uh, a link to my email address plus my company website. So that looks good. So let me finish the step. So I'll click on the contacts again. Just re repeat the same steps in um, step four. Go down to the bottom, click on the mass email contacts and click on edit. And this time, I will click on the July 27th um, campaign. Save that. I see the three people, good. Click on Next. Click on the version four template. Click on, give it a name, follow up mass email, July the 20th. 7th, blah, blah, blah. Click on send. And that's it. I hope uh, this was helpful. And if you have any questions or if there's any other videos you would like me to do for you, just let me know. Give me a call or send me an email. Thanks very much.